All right, now we're to one of the most popular features in FlyCheck, certainly in the early days, but still yet today. It's the package feature. And that's where you can go in and actually collect all used fonts, images, and other associated elements in your file into one folder, even compressing it for delivery or archiving. For this, we'll jump over to the computer and show you how packaging works. Okay, so now that we've um, learned how to set up the ground controls under pre-flight, we can now uh, get in there and we have another video on how the different pre-flight modes. I can check the files out. And now I have these PDFs, in this case, an InDesign file and a fork file. Now we've done certain things with the file, check the, you know, check the pre-flight report. We're ready to now pack as a job for delivery to the printer or pack as a job for delivery to the next designer or package or collect a job for archiving, you know, for future use. So how you do that is with the package feature right here. You just simply click there and you get the full options. We'll package up everything in the document. The file itself will even include an IDML. If you have one of our MarkSign products, you can actually click that on. You'll actually get an IDML of the file as well. This is InDesign file we're doing now. So if someone had a lower version, they could open it in a lower version. Um, it'll collect all the fonts, all of the images, and it warns you that, you know, there are some missing, of course. Uh, all the page previews, you can say, well, all I really need is uh, pings of the page previews, or maybe all you want are PDFs of the page previews, whatever it is you want. So FlightCheck does all of this for you. And you get your reports in HTML, RTF, uh, JSON, et cetera. Very useful if you want to do more automatic things with the file in a, in a switch workflow or other workflows that you might have. Uh, FlightCheck is also completely scriptable. You can also compress the file. You can even automatically open the package in something, for instance, uh, you know, to take things further in your workflow. A little summary there, the package details, and we have more information there. So now when you click, I'm not going to compress it now, but very handy if you're going to, you know, send this off via, uh, you know, we transfer or some other method to send to somebody, you might want to package it. Now when you click package, it's that easy. We're going to collect all the fonts and images used, everything required into one package. It's also going to create the IDML, in this case with our ID Marks product, which we have installed. And then what you get, which is quite simple, you just go up here to package and you click package. This will allow you to gather all elements. You can even create an IDML out of a court file, out of a PDF file. If you have one of the other Marks line products, see marks.com for our Marks line products. So this is an optional way, but very handy to have in your package. So now when we hit package, it'll collect everything up, all fonts, used image, et cetera, even making IT, an IDML because we have QXP marks on this machine. And this will save it down to wherever we, we want to save this package to. We already have one, we'll just replace it. There we go. Conversion finished. The flight check and the package is complete. We go over here, we see, we get a watch out, there's some problems, but if we go in there, we get all the information needed, all the files needed, the Quark Express file itself. Same thing with InDesign, we'll collect and package them. All the fonts used or that were available for collection, the uh, PDFs of each page, and the IDML of the entire document. So very handy if you need to give this Quark file to someone in the InDesign world, you can give them an IDML to open in InDesign. Very handy if it's an InDesign job, like over here, you want to hand off your InDesign file. Maybe they have a lower version of InDesign. They can now open it with the IDML. So these are very handy things in addition to the preview and pre-flight. You can also package with FlightCheck 2022. For more information, cruise on over to marksware.com. It's important to note that all of these things here are possible in all different file formats we support in the FlightCheck engine, which will grow over time. Right now, FlightCheck supports Adobe InDesign, Quark Express, Adobe Illustrator, and PDF. Very soon is coming Photoshop, native Photoshop support, and many other file formats are on the radar. Some very interesting ones as well. Isn't that neat? You can even include an IDML with your package if you have one of the other Marks line products. Very handy. That was how you package your InDesign or Quark Express or even a PDF if it has external fonts or images placed in it and Illustrator files with a click with Marksware's Flight Check 2022. More information, cruising over to marksware.com.